Hello guys, welcome back to another haul video. Yes, we are looking at March's pickups and here they are. 16 new pickups in total, so let's get into them. Yes, a pretty decent stack this month, if I do say so myself, and I'm very happy with all of them. There is a lot of films in there that I've had my eye on for a long time and I've wanted to get and finally have, I guess. So, in no particular order, well, we're going to go in order of some stores. So, first pickup was an online pickup. This was an eBay pickup. I was actually bidding on it. I feel like, well, maybe it wasn't bidding. I think I made an offer. I think I settled around 16, 15, 16 quid. And, yeah, I made a mistake. So, in a nutshell, I bought Oppenheimer, of course, as you can see. There it is, Oppenheimer. We all know it. We all like it. It is what it is. But I bought this on eBay. It's in French. I bought the French version. I didn't realize. It's one of those things where it's annoying, but at the same time, it's not, It's not. you know, like 4K discs are multi-region. So the Blu-ray discs, these ones here, you can see with the French ratings on are problematic because I can't probably can't play those ones. Um, whereas this one, because it's got the British ratings, the 4K will work. So I can watch the 4K, but all the special features, they won't work and I have no idea what's on this. So yeah, it's a little bit, well, it's not a little bit, it's, a, it's very annoying. So there it is. The Sousa Sumonde. So yeah, again, uh, this is a, a film that has moved to a slim case, no slip cover after the first run and it's a bit annoying and they're really making people buy films. If you want that slip cover, you really need to buy it the first, well, as soon as the film is out really. Unless you get the titles that are overproduced, like your Marvels, they always have slips and, you know, you know what I mean? Those ones will always have them because they're just overproduced, you know. Whereas some films will come out day one and, yeah, and this is, this is one of them. So, I'm not too sure what to do with it. The spine, it looks all in English, so when it's on the shelf, it's going to look fine. But I have some problems in terms of compatibility to be able to actually play the discs. So maybe I just need to test it and stuff like that. But I don't think it's going to work, those Blu-rays. Either way, this is my first pickup from eBay. It is what it is. We had one charity shop pickup and one regenerate pickup this month. Um, I have actually done a video on this on this movie uh, this month. This is Kung Fu Panda 2. I actually did a retro movie review because I have been watching all of the Kung Fu Panda movies. And of course, at the point of re this releasing, I have seen number four, the new one, and I have done a ranking. Uh, so this was necessary to, to that, obviously. Um, yep, yeah, there it is. Kung Fu Panda 2. Nothing much more to say about that. Uh, regenerate though, uh, in the latest Blu-ray hunt, I actually picked up this, American Graffiti, $3.99. They actually sell it for eight quid on Kex, so to get this for half the price that Kex sells there is fantastic. Obviously, massive Star Wars fan, so George Lucas, great. Really excited to give that a, a try one evening. So those are those. Uh, next we have uh, one from Amazon, which I've actually done an unboxing for, and this is the Avatar. As you can see, the collector's edition four disc set. This is still sealed, I haven't opened it because the one in my in my unboxing video, sorry, um, I actually returned because it was squashed. As you can see in this one, my replacement came and it is fine. So I just haven't opened it. I don't, if I don't need to open it, I'll open it when I watch it. So there it is. There's the first one. And then, of course, we do get Avatar The Way of Water, which came in from uh, HMV. Uh, I did use the 20% off, which, by the way, is linked down below if you want to use it. Uh, but this is the sequel. Obviously, opened it and it, it came in great condition from HMV. Uh, both of these, though, are available in store. They were in... Uh, Cardiff uh, HMV as well as Combran. So these are readily available in HMV stores if uh, you want to go and pick it up. So yeah, uh, I've got both of those though, obviously. So really pleased with that. I've documented quite a bit in terms of in terms of that. So Amazon for the first one, second one HMV. So sticking with HMV, uh, we um, obviously this is the month that Dune came out. So I picked up the original. 1984 movie, uh, yet to give this a watch. Uh, this is the David Lynch version, so there it is. Uh, yeah, I wanted to wait for number two to come out to really experience the story and understand it, because this one is a telling of part one, part two. Obviously it's stretched out in terms of the two films, but I didn't want the end of this to spoil, you know, the Denis Villeneuve experience that I, that is my doom, I guess, not this one. So now that I know the whole story, obviously I'm gonna give this a watch and uh, 
retro movie review it at some point. So yeah, those two were from HMV. We got another five from HMV which came in a box set and I've actually done an unboxing of this as well. This is the Pirates of the Caribbean set. Uh, there is all of the movies inside and then yeah and then yeah I'm boxing on the channel if you want to go and see it But I really wanted this I think it was 70 down to or 60 down to 40 or 70 down to 40 uh, Yeah, really looking forward to giving these a rewatch. This is gonna be like my summer thing uh, Definitely gonna do that in the summer. So looking forward to that. That's gonna be fun uh, and the final HMV pickup, again, I use a 20% discount, link down below. Yeah, I managed to pick up my final DCEU steelbook, Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom. Again, unboxing on the channel. I've done a ton of unboxings this month. Like, I never normally buy new things, but like all the things I genuinely wanted in terms of new things, like I'm getting all the DC films, that's it. But these I had to get. I didn't want to run the risk of them selling out so i had to get them this month like i prioritized it so yeah that was like the treat to myself i guess these two so yeah this was just they're all treats in they everything's a treat oh, i love it <laughs> Uh, but yeah, of course, this is on the channel as well. This is the uh, final DCEU movie, so it completes my collection. Uh, in the next couple of like, weeks and stuff, I will actually do an entire video of all my steelbooks in the DCEU, so you can see which ones I have. I actually have some like different variants, like I might have a Zavi exclusive for one film. I might have chose like a HMV for another one. I've got like a Titans Occult Edition. I've got some old school Zavi ones. You'll see, it's, it's interesting. I think it is anyways. Uh, and then four pickups from CEX, which actually surprises me because I felt like we did a lot better, but there's basically four pickups over three Blu-ray hands. And I probably uploaded three, I think, because um, I did have a week off. So I did pick up each time I went from CEX, just didn't pick up that many. So first one I picked up is Chernobyl Diaries. Uh, this is because I'm expanding my horror. Uh, might have been one or two quid, this might have been. And I had a good, good few comments on the video when I did this, so loads of people are really looking forward to seeing my thoughts on it, and they recommended some other ones that are kind of linked to the whole thing, I believe. So, yeah. I also uh, picked up in the latest Blu-ray hunt, uh, one of the movies for Academy Award winner. This is Crash. Amazing cast, uh, Sandra Bullock, Don Cheadle, Matt Damon. Big cast, you know. We also got Brendan Fraser there as well. Uh, from 2004, uh, won the Oscar for Best Picture. So, of course, I'm going to try it out. So yeah, that was two quid in CEX. Then we also picked up a 10 pound pickup. Uh, a 4K. I actually missed this movie uh, when it was out in cinemas because I wasn't, I was on my hiatus, I guess. And this is the movie that it is. Plain. I actually missed this. I really want to watch this. So this is going to be, um, you know, I'm going to give this a watch at some point. Uh, but nice to have that slip, of course. And then the final pickup then is Babylon. Um, this was also in the latest Blu ray hunting video. I think this was £12, but I really wanted that slip and it's in very good condition. Had a voucher to use and all that. So you know what it is. We got to do what we got to do. So yeah, I just need to do a little bit more uh, in terms of taking off the uh, stickiness on this one. Uh, but other than that, it's pretty much fine. So yeah, I think um, all in all, not too bad. I think the only lowest point is the first movie, which is Oppenheimer. Not too sure what I'm going to do there. Not too sure if I'm just going to... I'm not too sure if I just pick up the normal version and then we go from there. Uh, just sell that one again on eBay or something. I could just sell it, keep the slip cover, because then I could buy the original from like i wouldn't mind I, I could have a, a one version from hmv but then have the french slip cover just so it aligns with my christopher nolan films anyways you know what i mean slip cover problems but yeah so yeah these are the the pickups uh, of the the month so uh, not so far for the month of uh, of um of march so yeah, a pretty decent month, I think. Uh, not too bad for somebody that's trying to, you know, strap in and <laughs> strap in in terms of what I'm buying. Um, but I think a few things landed all at once. I'm not too sure on release dates. I have a few pre-orders in. I have like the Obi Wan, the Andor, um, Star Wars stuff. I think they're the only pre-orders I've got. Oh, I also have Madam Web pre-ordered. Yes, I do. Um, <laughs> there's certain things I collect, you know. So I collect the um, Sonyverse stuff. So yes, I have the Morbius Steelbook which I've unboxed obviously but I uh yeah I have I have to get Madame Web now to match that of course so yeah it's fantastic isn't it so good that when a crap movie comes out you know still need to buy it so that I 
lines up with my collection. Uh, but yeah, really pleased with that. I think I did really, really well uh, this month. I think next month it'd be really good to get my catalogue sorted, um, you know, do that live stream that I've said about doing for the last year or so, actually doing it, sit down one Sunday evening or something and catalogue everything. You know, I'll be here like this, just going, beep and then just talking like oh this is amazing this is i got this from ebay or i can t say a story like oh i actually got this from ebay and it was the french version and there's so much of that in my collection that you know that's a good like two hour three hour live stream which we can do maybe we can have some drinks or something and just make a bit of a, a laugh about it you can ask questions and yeah you know let me know your thoughts down below and, and uh, that could be quite cool uh so yeah there it is there is the whole video for the month thanks so much for watching guys stay tuned of course for more videos coming soon and i will see you in the next one goodbye